What's up guys? In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export and how to share videos to Instagram. You can download our software for free at filmora.wondershare.com. So I've seen some of you asking, How do you export a video in a square format? Good news! You can export videos in square format in Filmora. I'm also going to show you the best export settings for each style of video you see here. Landscape, portrait, and square. Landscape videos are fairly simple. Odds are the camera you use is already capturing your footage in this aspect ratio. There's two things you need to know about your video though before you click on export. What is the resolution and what is the frame rate? You can find this out by right clicking on your video files in the media panel and selecting properties. For these two video clips I can see from the properties that the resolution is 1920 by 1080 and the frames per second or FPS is 25. I want to make sure that I keep these settings the same when I export my video. So go ahead and click on export and on the far left of the export screen you want to make sure you click on the format icon. Then you want to select mp4. After that make sure to name your file and select the destination folder. Now go ahead and click on the settings button. You will see here you have a bunch of different options. I always recommend clicking on the best tab under quality to get started. Then under encoder go ahead and select H.264 or if you're working with high definition footage or HD footage go ahead and select H.264 HD optimized. For the resolution you want to make sure you set it as the same as the original footage. In this case the footage is 1920 by 1080 so I'm going to select 1920 by 1080. The frame rate should be set at the same as your footage so my footage is 25 frames per second so I'm going to set it to 25 frames per second. You only need to change one thing under the audio settings and that's the bit rate. You can go ahead and change that to 128 kilobits per second. And there you go, now your landscape video is ready to be exported. For portrait videos there are some extra steps you need to do before exporting. You will need to crop the video into the right shape. This can be done by using the crop and pan tool. You can find that in the timeline tools. If I go ahead and move the crop around, you can see it's constrained to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If I grab the side, the bottom moves as well. Now if I select the manually tab and I grab the side of the crop, you can see it just shifts the side, the bottom doesn't move. So now I can go ahead and change the dimensions of the crop by entering a manual number. So for example, Instagram allows you to do 4x5 videos. 4x5 refers to the aspect ratio. So the 4 is the width and the 5 is the height. So this is going to be a vertical video. It will be skinny and tall. So a great way to figure out what numbers you need to punch into the crop dimensions is to use an aspect ratio calculator. Now I'm going to pull this one here up online and you can see I can enter in numbers for the aspect ratio. So I'm going to do 4 by 5 and I know the height of my video can't exceed 1080 pixels. So now I know the numbers that I have to put in for the crop. So I'm going to type in 864 by 1080 and then I hit return and the crop will automatically resize for me. Now I can reposition it and then hit OK. I will do the same thing to any other clip I have in my video so that they all have the same crop applied. Now my video is ready to be exported. So the exact same settings I used for a landscape video can be used for a portrait video. The only thing you need to change is the resolution. Now in this case this is a special resolution, you don't see it too often. But if you click on resolution and you scroll down you can see there's a custom tab. If I click on the custom tab it will give me the option to punch in a manual resolution. Now all I have to do is use the same numbers from the crop, 864 by 1080. Once I've done that and I've selected the destination folder and renamed my file, it's ready to be exported. So creating square videos is very similar to portrait videos, except you will want to change the resolution. So again, go back into the crop and pan tool, make sure manually is selected, and then you want both sides to be equal. So in this case I want a 1080 by 1080 crop. So I'm going to enter that in and hit return and the crop will automatically update to the size that I want and you can now see it's an equal square. Both the width and height are exactly the same. I'll reposition the crop then hit OK. Now I can go ahead and hit the export button. Now again I can use the exact same settings I used for landscape and portrait except I need to make sure the resolution matches the crop. So I'll go ahead, make sure custom selected 
and I'll punch in 1080 by 1080. And now I'm ready to export my square video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see, I'd love to hear them, so please leave them in the comments down below.